Hey guys and welcome back to a new Material 3 video. In this video you will learn about bottom sheets. A bottom sheet is in the end exactly as the name says, a sheet that slides in from the bottom. So if we click this button you will see this little sheet will show up. We can dismiss it again by clicking outside. You can see it also um, is focused a little bit by blurring out or by, by darkening the other content. And we can also just drag it down to um, dismiss it. So I will show you how you can implement this. In general, there is not too much theory you need to know about that or specific guidelines you need to stick to. A bottom sheet can contain a variety of different um, content. So it's not like all these navigation views we talked about that they have to um, that, that they have to use navigation and that they have to be for navigation. So there are not too many specific guidelines. If you, at least if you don't change the defaults, then you can't do much wrong with it. So I am in an empty Material 3 Jetpack Compose project here. And the first thing I want to do is we want to have a so-called modal, um, modal bottom sheet. And it might be that it's not recognized because you don't use the most up-to-date Material 3 version. In that case, go to Gradle Scripts, build.gradle, scroll down to this Compose Bomb, and you change this to um, this one here, 2023.6.1. Um, this is the latest version, which includes the bottom sheet, synchronize Gradle. When that is done, we do have this modal bottom sheet composable. Let's import that. We do get a Lambda on dismiss request, and we also have a lambda for the content of this modal bottom sheet. I will keep the content simple here. So I will just include an image as I've shown you in the sample. I've already included a resource drawable here. So I can access this with r.drawable.kermit. If you don't have this, simply go to your RAS folder, drawable and um, paste in your image here. And then you can also refer to it inside this image or put any other content in there. This is of course completely up to you what you want to do with this bottom sheet and what kind of content you want to show. We also want to go to this modal bottom sheet composable, alt enter to add this experimental annotation so we get rid of the warning. But apart from this on dismiss request lambda, which is by the way called when we dismiss the bottom sheet, so either when we swipe it away or when we tap outside of the bottom sheet. Apart from that, we also have a bunch of other parameters. Luckily, we only need to care about uh, very few of them, especially the sheet state, which is used to control the visibility of the bottom sheet. We can create a sheet state by saying sheet state is equal to remember modal bottom sheet state. And we also don't need to change anything here. We can just leave it at the default. We can then pass it here. Then let's next have a little box. Um, yes, yeah, so let's put it here which is just our actual screen content. So modify film X size. We have um, a content alignment of center, and this will just be our single button, which will open the sheet. So we have a button, the text will be open sheet. And when we click this button, then we want to now use our sheet state. Let's move this up here and show our bottom sheet. That is at least what I thought, um, but it works differently here. So we, we do have this sheet state here and we can call expand and hide, but by default, how this modal bottom sheet works is if we just put it directly in our composition like this, it will be shown immediately. And you can also notice this if we launch our app, take a look here. You can see um, it just shows by default. We can dismiss it. Um, but usually we don't want to show such a bottom sheet by default. And there's also no way to pass an initial state here for this um, modal bottom sheet state. So we only have this skip partially expanded and confirm value change. So when the sheet state changes, this is something I don't find very intuitive to be honest, because if we take a look at navigation drawers, for example, which I've covered in the last video, then we do have this option to pass in an initial state that the navigation draw is closed. And then we just need this sheet state or this uh, drawer state in that case to control the vis visibility of this drawer. But it seems like for modal bottom sheets it's different because here we need a sheet state and a boolean state in addition whether we want to show this sheet or not. So we also want to have a var is sheet open by remember, um, remember savable mutable state of um, false initially. So initially we don't want to show this. Alt enter to import this. 
alt enter to, um, yes, this one. And then we want to use this state and wrap this modal bottom sheet inside of an if statement. So if is sheet open, only then we want to show this modal bottom sheet. So only then we, we even include it in the composition. And when we then click our button, we just say is sheet open is true. If we now relaunch this and then take a look, we can now click open sheet. It will show, we can drag it down to hide it. We can show it again, or no, we can't show it of course yet because we didn't, um, do, we don't do something in this on dismiss request lambda. So in here, we of course want to say is sheet open is now false. If we then relaunch this and take a look and then we should see that we can now toggle it on and off. So yes, that is now working perfectly fine that we can toggle our sheet. So that is a little bit confusing that we still have our sheet state, which we don't use in this case, but of course you could use it because the sheet set also contains this expand and hide function, but it's very difficult to make use of that if you don't want to show it by default when you are opening the app, which is usually the case, I, I would say. And you also can't make use of this is visible boolean. So this is not the, the same as is sheet open because this is visible boolean gets switched to true after the animation has been performed. So um, if we do that, then the sheet immediately appears and there's no animation. Maybe I'm missing something. Maybe maybe there is a way to make it work with just a sheet state, uh, but I've also only found examples online that use um, such an additional Boolean state. What you can also do is you also have the option to pass in a drag handle. So just as an additional composable, if you want to switch the default drag handle, that is basically just this little thing here that indicates that you can drag this sheet but I would just leave it at the default. Um, but in, in rare cases, you might want to switch this out with a different one. But we're not done yet. There is a different type of bottom sheet. We just covered the modal bottom sheet, which displays as a modal. So that means we have this scrim here that indicates um, the, the bottom sheet is showing above everything else and we can dismiss it by tapping outside. But there's also another type of bottom sheet, which is more like a, a standard, a permanent bottom sheet, not a permanent one, but one that isn't so prominent. And this comes, however, with a scaffold, or needs to be implemented with a scaffold. So let's comment this out here. And up here, we want to have a bottom sheet scaffold. So this is a special scaffold, um, which allows us to also use a bottom sheet. You can see um, a lot of different options, but it basically just offers the same um, configuration as a normal scaffold with the difference that it takes in a sheet content and a, a bottom sheet uh, state. So if we go up here and also have our scaffold state and say, rem remember bottom sheet scaffold state, then here we do have that initial state. So um, no, we don't have that, but you can set an initial bottom sheet state. Um, that would be this sheet state here. So we can scroll down and here we can say our scaffold state is equal to sca scaffold state. Uh, whoops, scaffold state. The sheet content is now again what we want to show on our bottom sheet. So we can just use the same, the same image here and just copy paste this and uncomment this here. You also have the option to pass in a drag, a sheet drag handle if you want to change it, otherwise it comes with a default. You can disable the, um, the sheet swipe so that the user can swipe if you don't want that. You can change all the elevation, um, the uh, shadow, content color, container color, shape. I will just leave all that untouched if you want to follow along with the Material 3 guidelines. Just the peak height might be interesting because by default the bottom sheet uh, peaks a little bit. So you see a little bit of it, um, which indicates, hey, there is something you can drag up. I will show you both these variants in a moment. And here in this case, we would take this box and move it inside of our scaffold. So this is the actual content of our scaffold, which is our actual screen content. And here in this case, we don't need to work with these booleans, however. Um, so we can get rid of that and rather use our scaffold state. So scaffold state, bottom sheet state, that expand. This time we can make use of that. Um, this gives us an error because we need to execute that in a coroutine. So it will suspend as long as the animation is playing. So we can get a coroutine scope here. 
and then make use of that here. So scope that launch. We expand our bottom sheet and we could also, of course, hide it. If we relaunch this, then I think we should be able to see something. Yes, you can see now it peaks a little bit. We can uh, take this drag handle to drag it up. We can also drag it down until uh, that specific peak height. And we can also click our button to um, lift it up. And you see here, it's now not a model anymore. So the rest of the screen does not get darkened. Um, and we can also not dismiss it by tapping outside. So it's a real um, fixed part of our screen, you can say. But if you don't want it to peak like that, then you can also go into your scaffold and change the peak height to zero dp. I'll enter import dp and then it won't show by default. You can see there is no sheet, but we can still open it and um, swipe it down again. So a bottom sheet is really a composable which you need quite often. This is a brilliant way to just hide some extra content on screen and display that in an intuitive way to the user by having this drag handle that indicates you can drag this wherever you want. And other than that, thanks so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this, you will definitely also enjoy my more advanced Android premium courses, which you can all find by clicking the first link down below. So do that now and check them out in case you want to become an industry ready Android developer. And then have an amazing rest of your week. I will see you back in the next video. Bye bye.